In this presentation, we will discuss easy data entry into QuickBooks. This information can apply to the desktop version or QuickBooks Pro as well as QuickBooks Online. This is the homepage of QuickBooks Desktop, QuickBooks Pro. QuickBooks Online will have many of the same functions, however, it will not have the same look as QuickBooks Pro. This homepage gives us a good idea of the full accrual accounting system broken out by section. When we learn accounting, we typically have the full accrual accounting. So if you learn accounting, you're generally learning in accordance with generally accepted accounting principles. Those generally ac accepted accounting principles are generally on a full accrual basis. When we learn QuickBooks software, we too also typically learn a full accrual accounting system because that's going to be the system that applies to most businesses and will be in conformity with most laws. However, a small type of business may not be subject to the same type of requirements for an accrual type of business and may benefit in some ways to deviate from an accrual type business and go more towards a cash basis. So the first thing we want to note here is that the two items of an accrual business and a cash business are not polar opposites as we typically learn. We typically learn two things by comparing and contrasting them as if they're two completely separate things. And then later on we start to learn, well, wait, they're not really two separate things. It's more of a continuum. Even large businesses, even generally accepted accounting principles, deviate from an accrual basis from time to time when appropriate. That's what adjusting entries basically do. And small businesses may deviate more because they have less requirements and because a cash basis may be easier in some places to implement. So if we want to learn those areas where a cash basis might be appropriate for our business within QuickBooks and how to record that information, how to set up that information into QuickBooks, we need to go specifically to areas that are geared towards that type of business. Otherwise, we're going to be looking at the full accrual system. Now, it's good to learn the full accrual system. It'd be great if you could learn the full accrual system and then look at where we deviate, where we move to more of a cash basis system. That's all often not the case for many small businesses to be able to have the luxury of being able to do that. But if you could, that would be great. Or we can go into more of a cash basis system and go straight into a system that might be geared towards more of a cash basis for uh, smaller types of businesses. For example, if we took a look at the homepage, the full accrual cycle for an uh, expense vendor section in the homepage, we typically have a bill and then we pay the bills. We have to enter the bill, pay the bill, it will go through accounts payable. On more of a cash basis system, of course, we would just pay the bill possibly and record the expense at the point in time of payment. That would be more on a cash basis. That's something that we could use a check to do, but we can also go straight to the register. So a cash based system is one within QuickBooks where we might just say, hey, why do I need all these forms? Why don't I just go straight to the register and enter the information there? And I can get a lot of that information possibly from the bank statement and even possibly from bank feeds. And that's what a cash basis system will possibly do much more often. Go right to the register, possibly use bank feeds, be more dependent on the bank in some ways. However, even if we were to set up bank feeds, we still need to know how to use the register so we can know how to apply out that information into the register. So a cash basis system then needs to know basically, okay, when can I go from the forms, the driving tool for QuickBooks, to entering something more easily on a cash basis, typically involving entering directly into the check register. That's usually the strategy that we will have. And then if we look at the customer section, the sales section, the revenue section, cycle, we typically have an invoice that we create going through accounts receivable, increase to accounts receivable, and then we receive payment and then we make a deposit. That's going to be our cycle for a full accrual system in QuickBooks. However, if we do the work at the same time as we receive cash, or if we would like to simplify our system in terms of when we record the information, possibly we, we just record this when we get the cash. That would be a more of a cash based system in which case we might be able to go and use once again directly the register which would be easier faster than simply using forms uh, than to use forms it would be faster than using forms oftentimes might be something that we can allow the bank feeds to feed into so again these are types of things we don't typically learn in a full quickbooks type course because we're focused in on the forms not on when to deviate from the forms to a more simplified method if you want to learn these types of things to use the register more, 
you have to go somewhere that's specific to the use of the register. We do have a course that's geared towards the use of a more of a cash basis system. There is a discount below in the description for that course. This is what it looks like in our website. If you wanted to go through it and just check it out for free, you can go down and much of it will be available for free. Basically having a short course that's available for free, you just need to register and you can have the short course and see what it looks like for free and then go through it if you would like to purchase the full version to get the full content. Again, the free portion of the course is pretty much a short course in and of itself. This course will be geared towards bookkeepers that want to specialize in a type of businesses or type of clients that have more of a cash basis system and how to standardize that system. However, it works well for small businesses as well that want to take on their own type of bookkeeping that might want to use more of a cash basis system. We'll go through basically how, how to set up a cash basis system, what types of businesses would work well for more of a cash basis system, and then we'll look at all those areas, many different areas that deviate, where we have to deviate, where we say, okay, this is an area where I can't just be on a cash basis. I have to do something a little bit different, and we'll discuss options for a business that is more of a cash basis uh, on how they can deviate from a cash basis and when it would be applicable, and then how to do that within QuickBooks. So again, see the affiliate link below for a discount.